even though everybody around you is saying no it can't be done it's not realistic blah 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 you decide a while ago i told you something in my personal life had happened uh, something nobody believed in except myself and I had to wait such a long time for it to happen so let me first show you something else and then tell you the story here we are welcome to a new setting um, the story I wanted to tell you let me just show you the space before I tell you the story so um, this is where you come in over there and this was the kitchen yes was the kitchen an awesome balcony and over here so this was just the toilet and this is, this was the bathroom oh yeah there's still light read the bathtub and over here this was the master bedroom it's still like the walk-in from in the closet room and the walk-in closet <laughs> thingy and the game room. I might sound a little bit hollow. I hope, yeah, this is the best room to tell you the story. So um, for you guys that follow me for a longer period of time, you know that I think maybe like five years ago, I broke up with my ex. The thing I didn't tell you is um, I bought a house with him, an apartment, a year before we broke up. So I told you a story like, how that breakup influenced my life and made me want to travel and blah blah it was in Dutch so if you speak English and you would like me to tell the story once again please let me know in the comments below but for my Dutchies you can look up the story in uh, I'll put the travel log link down below anyways wow I'm so out of breath <laughs> um, so yeah we bought an apartment and one year later we broke up and that was like a really sucky period in my life uh, my ex remained living in this apartment I went back to my parents and now finally finally after five years of uh, being a, well broken up he already has a new girlfriend I had Stefan um, we finally sold the, the apartment and I am so incredibly happy because uh, we bought the apartment with two salaries which means neither of us was able to pay the mortgage on our own and we really needed to sell it also um, neither, one, neither one of us wanted to remain living in an apartment you know you bought it together you wanted you know to spend <laughs> your time here together so um, the thing is when you buy an apartment with two salaries uh, the mortgage is quite high and we bought it in 2010 like right after the financial crisis and all the uh, prices for the houses in Amsterdam dropped like dramatically so we weren't able to sell it for a, house, uh, for a price that wouldn't leave us in an incredible debt that I definitely wasn't able to pay so now uh, five years later um, I always believed in this apartment like I loved it from the first time I saw it you just saw it too it's so big it's quite unique in this neighborhood it's in Eiburg and uh, I always believed we would be able to sell it for a price that wouldn't leave us in debt and everybody seriously everybody this is a thing that I wanted to tell you like everybody told me no that's not possible you're not going to be able to do that you're gonna be left with a debt just accept the fact la 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 like all all these years everybody told me that and I was like no I honestly believe that this can be done even though the chances are not high but I believe I can do it and um, yeah in the end we were able to sell it without a debt and I am so grateful uh, for believing in myself and for uh, even though <laughs> my ex is not my best friend anymore I am grateful that he's quite a flexible person for now I am free like completely free no more worries about a mortgage that might need to be paid or anything we had a tenant for quite a while in this apartment so it, it the cost didn't worry me that much but it's just uh, like everybody who's been through this like still being attached to uh, to the past you know like we broke up and we don't want to live here anymore and now we're both free to live our lives now let's go from the past 
to the present. Lol, that one last final time when you clean up your ex-boyfriend's-ish. <laughs> he forgot this upstairs and he was supposed to clean it, but uh, he left it and yeah, I'm just gonna take it out, you know, for good luck for my karma points and shit. <laughs> So this was a week earlier on Wednesday when you're seeing this. Today is Monday. That was the last time I was in the apartment and right now we signed the deed and it has been done. The apartment has been sold. I am free. I am not a house owner anymore and I couldn't be more happier. Such a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm so happy with the... Um, with this outcome. All I have to say is believe in yourself, believe in your gut, don't believe what people around you are saying that you won't be able to do something because that's the reason I don't have a huge debt right now because I didn't, you know, surrender to those cir circumstances and I kept fighting for my freedom and I have it right now. And that's exactly why I'm sharing this with you. Uh, if there's something I want you to remember from this story is believe in yourself, believe what you feel inside, even though everybody around you is saying, no, it can't be done, it's not realistic, blah, blah, blah. You decide, no one else around you. So, so yeah, that's why I wanted to tell you the story, even though <laughs> maybe it's not interesting at all. Yay! 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 Oh, <laughs> Stefan is over there. No! Yeah! Yeah! I got a Limburg fly over here, which is Super typical Dutch cake. Actually, I think it's a pie, right? Um, I will elaborate on that on a different occasion because I just want to have cake right now. Mmm, fly. Yum, 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 yum. So this is cream, this is crumble. Yes, my favorite kind. I am freaking starving and luckily I had some leftovers from yesterday. So we are having, oh, actually I'm having, you can just... You know, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, just brown rice and uh, well, it's a Thai curry with it, there's a Thai curry paste in there and coconut milk and some tofu and uh, some broccoli and some zucchini. Um, it <laughs> of course doesn't look too good because it's from yesterday, but it still smells delicious and um, can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry and we're going to the movie theater again. Uh, we're going to the Dutch movie Fissa, which is about a group of uh, high school kids graduating and they're going to have a massive party, but it's supposed to be like, um, how do you say that? Lots of rude language and stuff like that, so yeah, right up our alley. <laughs> what the F did I just see? This was such... A hardcore awesome movie um, and one thing my lovely friends who have already seen the movie forgot to tell me that one of the main characters the girl who is constantly called the insta slut or the selfie slut is called Ivana I'm not fucking joking I never ever hear my name in movies or whatever like I'm Yugoslavian like in Yugoslavian movies okay but Seriously, this is a Dutch movie. I've never heard the name Ivana in a Dutch freaking movie. My friends, like, they tricked me. They tricked me. But it was a really, really cool movie. I loved it. I think, I think they should make an international version because hashtag love, man. Seriously, we're talking about the best chocolate in the world. And then when you finally get to make love with them, it's like, 